Hello everyone and welcome to finally another episode of Comic Time here at 610 Hobbies. My name is Gio, you know it. And today it's a very special day. <clears throat> Not only because we're using my new digital camera for the, for the first time, no more scan lines, as you can see, no more scan lines. And I'm also trying the, the new light. I probably need another lamp because this one is pretty close to the surface. And actually this surface is new to the show. <laughs> this is my drawing, I'm my artist desk, sorry. Uh, never really use it a lot, so it looks brand new, but I have like one year with it or possibly more. I think one year. Oh, but you can see my lamp here. See, it's really close to the surface. I need another lamp uh, uh, more. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I really like how it looks though in the, the scan lines are finally away. And it's actually not that my camera was bad. Only my capture card was really meh. It, it was designed to capture like VHS video, not HD. But anyway, enough of that. Again, on June 15th this year, it's going to be the 12th anniversary since I released this comic that you are seeing called Nebula. Nebula, Nebula, yeah. I know the word nebula exists with the other B here, but you pronounce this nebula, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I released this first in 2007, that's again almost 12 years ago, and it's been probably my most no, it's not. Well, I think it's my most famous uh, story so far. Not too proud of that because I made some more, but this is the longest I have done. Ten episodes and counting. Actually, it's eleven. I will show you in a bit. How is that? But uh, actually, the, I came came out with this character Nebula. Uh, in 2003 for a friend that asked me to make a short story um, just a short story nothing big and I decided to make a whole new character just in case he wanted to well I didn't know him that well back then so I thought that it, if I would if I would risk someone stealing my character it would be probably a worthless character and it didn't turn out that way. Uh, this has been my most developed character through again over 10 episodes. So first, um, 2007, I released Nebula number one and also number two and also number three. These are actually three is issue miniseries I came, I came out with. Remember, just in case you're familiar with the Sonic the Hedgehog comics, uh, it's kind of like that. Sonic had four issues uh, on, on its release of comic. Um, it was issue 0, 1, 2, and 3. Those were four issues. Nebula is 1, 2, and 3. So, yep. And then, just like the comic from Sonic, I released the regular series, which are these, and the regular series are not limited by my numbers, by the issues. I mean, could be any amount of issues until the story is done. It's still continuing that. There's always a lot of confusion in my country about this, having this. I'm not sure if this happens in the US. But nobody really understands that these are supposed to be previous to the to the regular series so I decided later on I, I will show you later on but let me show you first the other covers of the next issues this is the number one from the regular series as already said this is number two and features the character Helix that's her name Helix <clears throat> 
and she appears first as a rival to Nebula and they fight and then they become friends you know you know it happens a lot and also I forgot to mention what does Nebula actually do she's a crime fighter if you can't tell by her uh, costume outfit uh, she fights crime local crime in her city she has like a sort of superpower I guess Oh, actually, my art is really bad. It's not compared to the to the colored art on the covers. Back then, I only had pens and ink. Um, I didn't use tablet until 2012. So, yeah. Uh, it, the art is really rough and hasn't aged well. But anyway... Nebula, um, I was really inspired by the Matrix back then and Nebula can dodge bullets just like Neo and a ton of other characters that you have probably seen and Helix is just super smart, uh, she's a tech savvy, oh I have two of these I actually have one in English actually, I kept one and this is in Spanish, you can see Oh, it's so weird. I, I printed printed this on Kablam. It's a comic printing a service on the internet. Um, they publish a lot of indie comics. You want to check it out or you're interested in publishing your own comic. They're a good choice. They were ship for me back then, over 10 years ago. But now because... Uh, the dollar just became too expensive in Mexico. That's not a viable option. So, anyway, it's weird. Kablam published my first covers. They they seem kind of dark here, really dark. I didn't like that. That's one of the disadvantages from publishing online. You can't see a preview of your comic. Well, I think you can ask in Kablam for a sample, a free sample. So I should have done that. I didn't. But anyway, the English one uh, came out well. It looks really cool, the cover. Uh, this one is really dark. I don't know if you can see with this like the difference. Well, it, it, you can see it if I move it away from the lamp, right? This is darker. <laughs> anyway, uh, in issue three, we got... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, this is Duque, uh, Nebula's... Uh, Right, arch enemy for now. Uh, she he comes to find Nebula in her her school. She because she's a schoolgirl. She's 15 years old. I'm making Kablama a lot of money here. <laughs> Free advertising. And this was my very first anniversary of the comic. Uh, the issue number four. That's why it says first anniversary here. Um, this uh, in this issue you can see Nebula is not Nebula. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guess who that is. It's pretty obvious, I think. And then on issue five, there's a lot of exposition. Uh, I didn't feel too well about this issue, but I think it was necessary to to inform the reader more. This is actually Nova. Uh, she's Nebulas, 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 uh, uh, the girl, <laughs> previous, uh, she's the previous vigilante before Nebula, that's it, Prede predecessor, oh man, I forgot that word, and issue six, this has a lot of issues, <laughs> speaking of, and issue six, I got a little inspired by the Fast and the Furious, I don't remember exactly what year that was, I think it says here, uh, oh, it doesn't say it. Oh well. But anyway, uh, my art gets really bad here. Uh, my storytelling as well. Uh, my friend Alejo Crailejo, if you have watched his videos here, he says that this is probably my worst issue, and he's, he's right. I'm not very pr proud of this, not because it's, bec uh, it's about uh, The Fast and the Furious, uh, inspired by, but because I really didn't have any direction, any focus on the story. And well, then came issue number seven. This is the last issue I published 
on print uh, it's a step forward from before but it's still missing a lot of things actually base the cover here uh, well except for this girl here uh, but the layout on the back it's based on Grand Theft Auto 4 the cover of Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, this was actually really inspired by Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, mainly because it's about biker a, a biker gang and if you know there was a, a DLC about bikers in Grand Theft Auto 4 GTA 4 I should say um, it was a, the DLC was called The Lost and Damned and which is actually the title of here Just and Them uh, Just is actually not a character of mine it's from a Canadian friend uh, I know just online uh, he created her and he told me I could have her he wasn't gonna use her he really liked the biker aspect I decided to give to Joss and I used her she's really crazy and violent but anyway then um, like 2012 or 13 I think 13, 13 uh, I released a compilation of the of the first three episodes so people would stop confusing it but I only printed like 20 of these so yeah it's really limited it's a, a little book I really like how it looks and came out inside though it's another story uh, there's a lot of issues in the trimming of the pages some just cut off uh, it, and actually the pages are not correctly numbered I screwed up big time but anyway uh, that's about it that oh yeah well let me let me change my screen here you're gonna gonna interrupt my my HD recording to show you uh, wait oh, there we go I, I was scared it would be the wrong window uh, I actually have these all all of these comics you saw here online uh, this, this is on my DeviantArt page I will post a link to it well to the comics in case you want to read them these are digitally made on flash I used to know a lot of flash back in the day <laughs> I was in the university and you can it's easily readable you just have to activate uh, Adobe flash so yep uh, there's more there's oh, there's actually an extra comic that I didn't I don't have on print anymore because I gave it away oh and my screen just pros great firefox you're the best what's going on firefox damn <laughs> are you kidding yep my screen just froze that's great let me what am i supposed to do okay close this freaking window and let me try that again. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate you for your folks. I was probably bringing... Okay, yeah, I know it's running. Yeah, you can see it right there. Ah, oh, let me switch back to my camera. <laughs> oh, you suck so much, Firefox. No, not really. I still prefer it over Explorer. Oh, well, Edge, Microsoft Edge and... Chrome. Uh, I would switch to Chrome, but uh, I don't. I'm still not sure. I have a lot of stuff already saved in Firefox, and I know I can import them on Chrome, but eh, just can't bother just eh, logging to everything. Anyway, let me go again to that page. To my page and you will see vanilla bite oh wait no oh yeah you can there we go <laughs> didn't even have to put it again uh you can see my stuff here here we go nebula back again you can see all my 
you can find all my comics of Nebula here and including this one that again I printed but I don't have the only issue I printed I actually print some of these uh, let me show you again sorry 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 like okay a lot all this until issue 5 I printed on Kablam but before that I actually printed this oh yeah that's right uh this has a different back cover it don't says nebula because i actually printed this in my house in my house in my home and i printed this at a place i work temporarily in a print shop but yeah i, I was actually able i am actually able to print uh my own comics or fanzines actually this would be on my home that's why they're so small. This is actually not the standard size comic. Uh, this is actually more like digest type or manga size. Anyway, let's go back online. Hopefully. This is a story. It's not related to Nebula per se, even though it says up here. But it's actually about Halloween and the Day of the Dead. Oh, actually, oh, those are some horrible colors. This is actually Sharpie, most of it. The moon out here and the background is digital as well as here. The background is just radiant. And but this is Sharpie markers. <laughs> they look really bad. And this is this is a short story about again Halloween and you can check it out. It it's completely in English online. I will leave the link. Um what else? Oh yeah, something else. I have to show you. And you froze again, Firefox. That that never happens. That never happens, Firefox. Are you shooting me? <laughs> shooting me. Oh, I hate you so much, Firefox. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, Firefox. Let me try that again. I, I won't go to the VMT. Maybe because of the the Adobe Flash running it. Screw it up. Uh, let me go. No, open a private window. I don't want you looking at my, picking at my weird stuff. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm gonna show you my page from Facebook when my current publishing uh, agency, I guess that I'm working at this is only in Spanish so uh, bear it with me don't read it listen to my ugly voice instead oh I had a lot of so, so rules. anyway this is actually my last well my last comic of Nebula so far it's the story hasn't ended but this is as far as I've, I've made it I released it a year ago in January is that a two I think it's a two on February February not February <laughs> February 16 2018 uh, it's called Nebula Ultima because why did I call her that well it's actually not printed it wasn't printed it was completely online uh, I don't remember why I call it Ultima I think yeah I remember now it's because I I had these this comic in hiatus for so long that and uh, I had some progress on it and I just and then stopped and then I said I will just make this and we'll be able to continue so let's get it out of the way and it will be the ultima in a sense that I'm not writing like this anymore like oh look at this layout this panel layout it's it's really bad I don't do this anymore I, I use less panels now you don't need this many panels in a comic look at that and a, a new lady back here that you cannot see <laughs> uh, again this is in Spanish but I do have plans to translate it and probably upload it along with the whole series of Nebula on Webtoons. It won't happen overnight. Probably will happen through the course of a few months. 
but anyway this will be included there translated it's just that uh, again I don't know if you remember earlier this year uh, my my backup uh, hard drive busted and I wasn't able to fix it and I lost all of my data including this <laughs> or including the Photoshop files of this so I can't edit it anymore I I will be able to change the text so yeah there's no problem there but I cannot edit anything else unless I redraw it and I'm not gonna do it I actually won't be able to take out this exclamation mark well, unless I, I can edit, edit that I guess I'm a competent, competent enough um, uh, graphic designer well I forgot my own uh, profession there <laughs> but anyway this is 24 25 pages long I think so yeah there's there's not gonna be any problem um, this is and it's, it's actually more exposition nothing big happens again so yeah don't look forward to this is just a goodbye to this style I have this horrid style I have <laughs> but anyway uh, that's enough for now well 20 minutes I thought it would be less let's go back to more comics um, well please give me your opinion on this in case you read it uh, what would you like to see which character did you like the most which ones did you hate uh, or if you want to compare it to my other stories like vanilla bites which is actually a different genre so yeah there's that but anyway that's it for now i thank you so much for watching this long ass video of comic time here at 610 hobbies my name is Gio, you know it, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.